Hi, in the previous video, we have implemented this file download functionality using a Spring Boot application. Now in this video, let us generate a Angular client application and consume this download handler through an Angular service and download this file onto a client machine via Angular app. Okay, let us get started by creating an Angular application using the Angular CLI. So I have already done that because it is a time taking process. I have gone to the file download ng which is our spring boot applications root folder and I have used this command ng new client is the application name our angular application name and I am using the minimal configuration to avoid any test classes or test configuration from getting generated and I am disabling the routing because we don't we do not require routing for this particular demo and I am defaulting the style to CSS so I have already done this process and once you do this you will get the client directory generated or the application with name client generated in the root directory of our Spring Boot app with the following contents let us import this app into the Visual Studio code and start working on it So I have already imported or let me start it again. I'll take a new window, open folder and let me select client. Go to the location of your Spring Boot app or where you have generated this Angular application and import it to Visual Studio Code. Okay. Now let us open the terminal okay so I'll just go for a split view of the terminal okay let me run this application using ng serve and in the meantime let us generate a component and service so further we can use the CLA commands ng generate service for service you can use s or you can use service whatever and let us generate the service in the service directory and the name of the service is file download hit enter so on the other window our application has compiled successfully and is accessible now at port 4200 localhost 4200 okay so now let us generate a component per file download so in the meantime let us go to the application UI and see how it looks if you are able to see this page it, which means your angular application has got generated successfully and it is in functioning state you can get rid of the spec files as we are not interested in let us go to uh, app.module.ts and import the HTTP module, HTTP client module and include this module in the import section. So with this we are done with the app.module.ts. Now let us go to file download service and let us create a download file function which would take adjacent data as input and here we would call the spring boot service by passing the file name as a parameter and to call the spring boot service we would require the http module so let us import the HTTP client. Okay. Now let us construct the URL and the parameters that are required for calling this particular service. So the request params is HTTP params. 
and we only have one parameter so let us use the set method and pass that particular parameter which is file name and that we can get it from the input data dot file name so the request URL so ideally this download is enough because in our Spring Boot application the, the endpoint is slash download so let us add slash server as prefix from our angular APIs okay. now let us use this HTTP module HTTP client to call the Spring Boot backend service using the get method because it is a get method at the backend level it is Spring Boot we need to pass the URL and some option options. Okay, so let us pass the URL and options. The first thing is we need to send the HTTP params. For that, we need to use the key params and values request params. And the response type that we are expecting is not JSON. We are expecting either a block or byte array buffer type would be array buffer in our case because it is a file download functionality so now let us return this response which is so the return type here would be an observable of array buffer let us call this particular function from our component and subscribe to the return value of the observable so to call that let us refer to the file download service from our component file download service so let us add the same function similar function as download file this time we would take file name as the parameter from here we need to call the service slash download file and we need to pass file name to our service and we can subscribe to this particular observable and whatever data that is returned we can save it as a on the save it as a file on the client machine So to save this, we need a dependency uh, called file saver. So let us add that dependency using npm i-s file saver would download the dependency as well as add it to our package.json file. So this particular file saver dependency provides us a function called save as which would take blob and the file name as parameters. So whatever response data that we are getting we can pass it to uh, pass it to the blob and that blob we can pass it to the save as function that will help us save the file onto the client machine okay. so now let us import that save as function from file saver let us call this particular save as function and pass the blob okay. so the first thing that we need to pass to this blob is the data which is the array buffer and apart from this we need to pass the type okay. so for now let me leave the type as blank And apart from this, to the save as function, we can pass the file name as well. So let me pass the file name. So this is a, so one thing that we missed out here is we need to pass the type. So the content type or the MIME type of this particular data, whether it is an Excel sheet or a 
PDF or some media file or some other, some other file. Okay. So for that, let us define the MIME types here. You actually do not need to define it for the demo sake. I'm defining it here within the component file. So okay. Now let us get the extension from this particular file name. We can get it by using substring using the last occurrence of the period character in the file name. So the extension would be either PDF or XLS or XLSX, so which is available in our MIME type as the keys. So we can pass it as MIME types of this extension. Now we are pretty much done with the functionality. So let us add the HTML part of it. Go to the component HTML and remove this. Okay. So with this, whatever option that was selected here will be passed as file name to this download file function in the component. And from here, we would call the service method with the same file name and the service would call our Spring Boot backend and respond back with the data as array buffer and that data will be saved to the client machine using the save as so if you observe we do not have an HTML everything is written here in the template so what we can do we can get rid of everything here and change the title to file download demo and remove this image okay let me save it and go to the ui and see the changes so it has changed it to file download demo so now let us add the selector of our component here selector for our component is app dash file dash download let us add it to the component yes and navigate to the ui so we are able to see this okay so as of now nothing happens even if we say download okay let us go to the console and see what's going on it says 404 so server slash downloads or something I don't know what to do it, this resource is not found so for this particular application to reach our spring backend service we need to add a proxy configuration so what I'll do touch I'll, I'll create a file okay using the touch command in the root directory of the client application so touch proxy dot config.json so the file got created let us open this file and add the proxy configuration so the prefix that we are using in this app is server and when something when some request comes in with slash server or something starting with server so what we need to do we need to mention the target where it needs to go target would be http localhost and the port number where our spring boot app is running and one more thing is we need to remove this slash server while we are redirecting the request to our spring boot application so we can use path rewrite and anything that is starting with slash server needs to be replaced with blank which means it needs to be removed from the request path request URI path okay save this configuration and 
go to the package.json file and edit the start command in the script section by adding the entry as dash dash we need to hook in this proxy configuration to the ng-serve command proxy dash config and pass the proxy config file name proxy.config.json ok now let us stop the application and do npm start which will call the start command Let me do npm start from here. So now npm start internally calls ng-serve with this proxy configuration, which will allow us to talk to our Spring Boot application from our Angular app. Wait for it. So let us check whether our Spring Boot app is running or not. So it's listening on 8080 port now let us go back to so okay yeah the application has started now navigate to the browser okay the application is running fine let me select some xlsx file sample.xlsx which is existing and click on download so this has gone to our spring boot app got the response file and now through save as function it is allowing me to save the file to the client machine which is my machine let me open the file and see if it has downloaded properly without any like corrupted data ok yeah, this is downloaded fine let me close this selecting the file from the drop, drop down and from there on this particular click of on click of this particular button we are going to download file function using like we are passing this particular value selected files value and from there we are calling the service classes download file function use uh, passing the file name and within the service class we are calling the backend service okay with this request uri and the request params and expecting array buffer as a response type so this observable array buffer would be returned back to the component and component would subscribe to the data or the array buffer that is coming in and would generate a blob type out of the data using this data and the expected MIME type okay and passing the file name and this blob to the save as function of the file saver library so that's all we have done and this the this is how we can implement file download functionality i have given the link to this mime types description mime mime types in the description of the video thank you for watching